Good morning. It is Monday and it is 10.39. I mean, what's the date? I think it might be the 27th or the 28th, something like that, but it's Monday. So I don't know if you are, let me straighten you up, listening, watching, and you live in the state of Georgia, but if you do, you know we had a terrible thunder, lightning storm last night. So because of that, my trainer canceled workout for this morning, and I ain't mad at that. Um... So today is a day of rest, but I will be getting in some cardio a little bit later, and I still have to do my squat challenge. I have not record th recorded that. I'm on my way to Ingalls. I just came from Walmart where I got some grapefruit because I needed it because today is the last day of my eating schedule, and I got some, what is this, some... Um, Epsom salt, duh. Epsom salt because I make my own. Um... Oh boy, oh Lord, Jesus, help them, Father. I'm so sorry. I do y'all so wrong. Okay, you bet. And you're sturdy. So I make my own exfoliant. What a morning, right? So it's just cheaper than buying it. And I've been buying it and adding my own. Genesis and Qua to it. But anyway, so I just decided since I'm done with Walmart, I have to go to another supermarket named Ingalls. So I just thought, why not talk to you guys since I didn't get a chance to do a car chat this morning because I didn't go to the gym. And because I have today off because I, um, I, um, did the whole robotics competition on Friday. So, yeah. That's why I get today off. But anywho, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. I got a good night's sleep in. Oh. I ate my breakfast. I'm just late eating my grapefruit, which I'm gonna get in right now. And I think when I'm done tricking off, as my husband says, I am going to just um, relax for the rest of the day. I'm, I'm not gonna do anything. Really, I'm gonna work a little bit to prepare for tomorrow. So I won't have too much to do. This stuff will be in order. That's what I'm gonna do. I love rainy days like this. Oh my goodness, so. Are you guys watching the new season of Love is, Love is Blind? This right here is gonna be a mess. It's going to be a mess. I think my husband and I are only on We have two more episodes left. This is a mess. And I'm going to say something. And I am almost positive I'm gonna have an unpopular opinion. But what is that black guy's name who looked like he need to brush his hair? <laughs> now I know that's not nice. But you know who I'm talking about. To me, and I could be wrong. But he wanted to be famous so bad he done got he was he was denied by the first girl he cried his little eyes out now he's talking to the other girl and that's just the love of his life x y and z i'm just like boy bye 
you you just want to be on the show so bad i mean and and y'all just be playing with folks feelings and ooh. what's the one girl named one of the messy girls with the dark hair who got with peter who was the um criminal attorney she is not feeling him i think y'all know that because he whispered to her when they first met something like, can I get a kiss? And she was like, no, you can get a hug. Oh, it's just so bad. I don't understand if she's not feeling him. Why did you accept his proposal for the second time? Is being famous worth it? And this is the thing. Being famous is one thing. Being infamous is a whole nother thing. I don't want to be infamous for something silly and stupid and evil. And she is her and her little blonde-headed friend. They are pretty much declared, in my mind, the villains of the show. They just messy. Just messy. just messy for no reason oh that was so good boggles my mind how people play with people's minds and their feelings and some people actually go on these shows to really organically find love but I don't know do these people, people be under a rock like it is a fat chance that you will find something real on these shows because everybody wants to be famous i don't i don't quite understand i think if it was me if i just had to go on love is blind i would and, and if i was matched with someone i would like behind the scenes not in front of the camera let this person know listen i'm really feeling you i really want to do this how do you want to do this because listen we don't have to do it the show's way what we can do is say no at the altar, continue dating, and then we'll give it a year. I would not go at the same pace as the show. I just wouldn't. That is way too much pressure. Way too much pressure. And I just, yeah. On all of these little silly shows, we will be making something, we will be doing something behind the scenes. Because at the end of the day, it's all about what? Collecting that check. That's what it's about. Let's get this money and let's go on about our business. That's what I would do. Get all the endorsements from Instagram and we'd still be working on our relationship and the public wouldn't have to know nothing. That's what I would do. just the pressure of just staying together and people's opinions and perceptions that has got to be a lot what do y'all think it's just I don't know so so far you know I know my husband laughs at me because I don't believe any of this stuff is real. None of I don't believe. You know what ticked me off about these reality shows? I never forget. Way back in the day, and I'm dating myself, when I used to watch Flavor of Love. 
I mean, my oldest daughter, my youngest daughter wasn't even thought of. My youngest daughter was a little girl. And when I tell you, when we found out that this entire time, Flavor Flav was either seeing somebody else or married or I don't, it, it just, in that half of the time, the girlfriend or the wife, I don't know what, what they were to each other, but they were seeing each other. She was on the set the entire time and she knew and, and this, and mm -mm. like ever since then, my faith in reality shows, yeah, it's a, it's, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I mean, I was thoroughly shocked. I felt lied to. I felt betrayed. And some people would probably be like, but Maya, it's just a TV show. Uh-uh. I really believed it, right? So ever since then, you ain't got to worry about me, reality shows. 90 Day Fiance, now I'll watch them. That's another one of our shows. We watch 90 Day Fiance, The Other Way, and The Regular. We also watch Married at First Sight. We watch Love is Blind. Um, I think those are the only three reality shows that we watch. And that's it. And and like when they be having like these parties and stuff, half of these parties don't be people's those people's friends. It be production. Yeah, and I always tell my husband, mm-hmm, you see her? She production. And my husband will just laugh. And I'm like, you laugh, but you know I'm telling the truth. Cause stuff be they be lying. Lying and get you invested. No, I'm invested enough to watch your silly stuff. Like this 90 Day Fiance. So you're trying to sit here and tell me you wait until you get to the other person's country. Give up everything you have here in good old America. We live in a good country. So you give up everything to go to Tanzania, to Zimbabwe, you go to all these places to then have a conversation about their religion, their way of life. You mean y'all been dating online for two, three years and you're just now figuring this out? Yeah, I don't buy that. Yeah, it's a no for me. Yeah, I don't believe that. It's either it's the truth and it's factual or y'all stupid. And I hate to call people stupid, but that's stupid. It is no way I'm going to give up everything that I own and have. Now look at this. Look at it. Look at this foolish one. Look at this foolish one. Look at her. Foolish. A foolish driver. Anyway. So is this what we're doing? Like, I think it's 90 days, 90 day fiance the other way, I think. And there's a 67 year old woman moving to Morocco. Now, I don't think you gave up everything that you own and have here in good old America, but you leave and you go to live full time with your 24 year old boyfriend houseway really and then you mad you big mad you somebody's grandmother you big mad at the fact that his name is osama now no offense to those whose name is osama but if i'm dating you and your name is osama it is no right now you big mad, a uh, 67 year old, because he said y'all gonna live with his parents for what, one or two months to see how it work out, like a trial period. And then you gotta go home. You gotta go home. And you're mad. Why? Why, why are you mad? Huh? Explain that to me, why? Y'all been dating for two or three years. You didn't think to ask these questions to find out where he was in his head? He didn't make you move there. You move there. You dweeb. You a dweeb. You're a dweeb. I know somebody's going to say, Maya, that's not nice. And it's not. But she's a dweeb. 
for no reason. Just a dweeb. We got to do better. We got to do better. There's a time and a place to be silly, right? That ain't the time nor the place. And she talking about you played me, Osama. No, you played yourself. You, you've been on this earth three times his age. You know better. Let me go. Let, I'm here at um, Ingalls. Let me go ahead and... Uh, mm -hmm. And... Um, oh, and we copped tickets to go see New Edition. We leave or we go to see New Edition this Thursday at the State Farm Arena. We are so excited. I am so excited. New Edition. It's on a Thursday, so I don't even know how that's going to work. That means Friday... For workout, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> but yeah, I'll tell you more about that once we go. But yeah. But let me go. I'm here. I just wanted to vent. I love you guys so so much. Welcome to my new subscribers. Now, normally this will be an early morning car chat as I come from the gym. But we didn't have gym this morning. So you will get to experience that tomorrow morning. But stay tuned because later on I will be filming um, the squat challenge. We have 30. Don't fall behind. <laughs> Don't fall behind. That's just my recommendation. So let me go. I love you long time. I will see you later. Peace, peace, peace.